This is Soda Dungeon. It's a game that was released, I don't know when actually, but it was probably around 2015-16. That was when I was really in my Steam game phase and was playing a lot of Steam games. That game released on Steam, but is also available on mobile. I think it's mainly a mobile game, but and I'm, inclu I'm including it anyway, okay? So I already recorded the gameplay and I recorded it on my phone. So that counts. It's a mobile game, alright? Anyway, none of that matters because... I really like this game, and have played it for a very long time. It, it's really good, actually. I feel like it's perfect for mobile game, for mobile gameplay. You don't have to put in a lot of time for it, and you can just like put it on in the background. In fact, that's actually how I mostly play it. But I really do just have to let you know, or let you see the footage that I've recorded. This is unscripted. I should make scripts now. Should I make scripts? Post in the comments. Uh, but it's it's really good. I really like the game, but let's get into the gameplay segment, and then you'll be able to hear my final thoughts. So this is Soda Dungeon. This is going to be the first episode for Quest for the Best mobile games. I wanted to talk about either this or a uh, second episode game that we're going to talk about. I guess we'll start a new file. I really like this game, actually. So let's read this. It is the booming age of courageous adventures with dungeons bursting with ridges. Ridges. <laughs> okay, I read that completely wrong. I, I don't know. Sadly, you happen to be a coward without a penny to your name, which makes raiding the nearby dungeon somewhat of a challenge. Sitting at the local soda tavern, you wonder if there could be a solution. It's uh that guy. Another slow night at your tavern as you ponder your destiny. If only others could be persuaded to do the adventuring for you. Why, there appears to be quite the hyper fellow over there. Perhaps you should talk to him. I ain't scared of nobody. Watch me. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, okay. Apparently the soda here makes it easy to convince people to do dangerous things for you. <laughs> hey! I mean, it, I mean, whatever works for you, buddy. Uh, perhaps herein lies a new business model? Well, he's in our party now. So, uh... I, I have... Okay, so this is a lot of tutorial stuff. So you can go here. Basically, this is the bulk of the game. Aim here. You have your team on one side. Actually, later on, if you have five people, there's three on one side, two on the other. And you fight monsters. And they fight back. Oh man, treasure, I'm invincible! Oh, I made him sound like... I don't know what I'm gonna make the junkie sound like. We'll probably revisit this game at some point if you guys want me to. Tip, tap directly on an enemy to default to your normal attack. I don't, I don't know. It says do that. I usually play with the audio. I don't even feel nothing. I usually play with auto on. But there's not really a lot going on with auto. Hey, I don't feel so good. Your health is low, but don't worry. Defeat is just part of the process. They don't actually die, though. That's the thing. Oh my god, what am I doing? I don't want to die. I have a wife and kids. Aye! Aye! Your party has been wiped out, but you're fight. Yeah, you got gold, okay? Achievement unlocked. A plus for effort. If you do that in, like, actual school, you are a failure. Seems an opportunity has presented itself. Maybe you should try again. Yeah, okay. You go back to the tavern. You hire this guy. How long have we been going? It's only three minutes. But it is a lot of the same sort of thing. So, like, I'm... So, yeah, this guy has weapons, by the way. I didn't know if I mentioned, but he has uh, a little more defense. I think that actually increases HP. And a little bit more attack here. So he's going to be able to make it to this guy. Hey, who... I don't know if he'll actually be able to defeat him. Oh, he will. Alright, that's actually good. But he'll get knocked out the next turn. So, yeah. And, um, we got a wooden sword from that. 
which is a little bit better of a weapon. Talk of your questing has spread. It looks like some people in the world uh, in the tavern would like a word with you. This, specifically this guy. Greetings, adventurer. Well, i um, patron of adventures. I am a traveling salesman who may be able to aid you in your quest. However, I have no place to set up shop. Perhaps you could purchase some space for me from the owner. You'll have first dibs on whatever I find. For now, though, please enjoy my meager selection of items. This guy, he's not that great. Usually, the stuff he sells, like, he's good in early game, but usually the stuff that he sells isn't that great, really. I guess that would be useful, and that'll be useful, I guess. I only still have one guy. And we'll just auto-equip him. Hey there, friend. It looks like you've turned a profit with your dungeon scheme. Uh, I think I screwed up. I think what I should have done... We can't purchase new sodas, can we? Oh, yeah, we can. Um... Yeah, we can't right now, so... Well, once we get some more money, we'll purchase a new soda, and that'll kind of, like, give us... I'll show you what new sodas do. I might have already explained it, and I just kind of glossed over it. Uh, but I like explaining it, so I will. The Stone of Sight is actually very good, because it allows you to see enemy HP. Which is useful. Uh, but, like, there's not really a ton to this game. I am mainly playing with auto. At first, I'll play with auto. But it's also, and I might, and I usually play with the auto because the AI is actually pretty smart in this game. I mean, there's not a ton to the game. Oh, there's ads. Let's see what we got here. There's Pokemon? That's not Pokemon. That's the weirdest Pokemon I've ever seen. Okay, I know how to play this game, though. But if you have more stools in the thing, that's very good. But we're not going to get that right now. And instead, we're going to buy Dr. Slurp. I want you to tell me in the comments, what's your favorite soda? Because I, I like Dr. Pepper. And while you're doing that, <laughs> I don't usually say this in my videos. But subscribe. I'm trying to hit 100 subs by the end of the year. Which is like a few months away, but I mean, I'm a pretty small channel. I'm one guy literally in my bed right now playing this game. And I am having breathing problems right now. It's not like anything serious, I just need to take my inhaler. But, just, it would be a big help if you subbed. So now that we have two people, things like this fourth one that used to give us trouble won't give us as much trouble. This guy will still give us trouble, but he's a mid boss and is used to be, and is usually more tough than the other enemies. So you know why we going after that guy though? Oh, critical hits will happen like every once in a while. There is an item that'll help you increase them, and like I'm not even kidding. Sometimes you just get a critical hit in, like every turn, and it's OP. So, that's cool. This guy is 30 HP. I doubt we'll be able to take him down before he takes us down. Maybe, actually. Actually. Ooh, I didn't notice. Or, I did notice. I didn't notice. I didn't think we would be able to do it, but we actually took him down. And then you can pick a treasure. We're going that one. Alright, and then we lose immediately. So yeah, the enemies do get tougher. Of course they do. But we got a battle axe now. Which is better than a sword. As well as we can buy a heal stone. Which is what we're going to do. As well as get... Some new stuff in our tavern. Look at that. Some more people can spawn. And better people can spawn because the junkies aren't really that great but this dr slurp here will actually attract ruffians which are a little more 
are a little better than junkies, but they're not that much better. How long have we been going for? About 10 minutes now. I do want to show off a little more of this game, so I don't know if I'm going to get a full half hour out of this. That'll actually be better for me, though. I mean, episode was mainly game. The episode one was mainly gameplay. This will probably go up a day late, but I'll try to get these out every Friday. I don't know when this is going out, but it is literally 11.18 right now. So, what's the other thing? Twitter! I like Twitter. If you needed to know. They're still not great in defense right now, but with the heal stone will help, so. Yeah. Though I only wish it wasn't. I wish it. I. You can also go in and equip things, but honestly, I just kind of put this on in the background while I'm doing other stuff. That's why I mainly use audio. Audio. Auto. With this game, because I just put it on in the background, do some other stuff, do some work, do. Make some videos. Watch some videos. Uh, play some games. I don't know. I just do stuff in the background. Oh, I have this running. And it's pretty good for that. And that's why I use auto. Okay, so this is... Okay, I wanted to show this. But basically, you gotta choose a door or continue on the current path. We're gonna choose that. I screwed up. Alright. So, yeah, this is kind of bad. We're kind of screwed here. But I picked a drowsy trap. Basically, when you're asleep, it said it. You can't attack or defend. So, that's that's what does. Oh! I leveled up on Google Play Games. Also, it's called Adam's Game Room 234. That was before I used that one. Snivy and didn't really have a name. Once again, I'd like to say that's the weirdest Pokemon I've ever seen. That's not even that's that that joke doesn't even make sense there. But this is okay, this is a ruffian. And he costs twenty five gold to hire. Anything past a junkie will uh, cost money to hire them. That's basically what that is, so we'll hire him. We'll hire the junkie, we'll hire the junkie, we'll like I think we can buy this. We'll liquidate. Man, we don't need much. Uh, but usually, I don't know. I usually have like the better thing. Usually, okay. Once I unlock them, I use healers a lot. But they're pretty late into the game. You unlock healers. I don't like late into the game because this is an endless game. It doesn't have an ending, as far as I know. I really don't. I'm on the third dimension. I really don't know what it, if it has an ending or not. So yeah. Uh, but later on in the game, you will get a method of fast travel to parts in the dungeon, so you don't just have to replay the old levels over and over again. Uh, we do not have that right now, so. And have fun watching this a lot because I need to get at least like half an hour of footage out of this. I mean, it's probably got enough to get there. I want to at least get to the third area. Ooh, iron armor. That's cool. Uh, I do want. I do want to get. Oh, but yeah, as you can see, the ruffian's pretty good. Oh. Yeah, okay, so it says you've been ambushed. Enemies attack first, but you'll have higher gold. That's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, I don't know what the difference was, because I wasn't really paying attention this whole time. I've just been kind of talking. I do that a lot. But we uh, lost here. But we gained a lot of gold from that. And as well as a turtle shield, iron armor, and windsor. Basically... At one point, there's going to be stuff that you really don't need, and you can, like, liquidate and sell. Oh. Oh. You have to buy the wizard, but, um, I don't know where it was. Banker, it might have been that. 
kitchen, decor, beds. That's cool. No, it might have been the armory. I think it was the armory. We'll get that at some point. But we're not getting that right now. We're actually not going to buy anything right now. Just hire that guy. Hire this person. And hire this person. We got our... Our... Adventurers. So... A good strategy might be to give the junkies, like, higher priority. And give them all the good equipment because they're worse. And the other... And to, like, balance that out. Or just have one person be really overpowered and have the others be not i mean i didn't do that these guys are pretty good the conscripts i think that's what they are they're pretty good it i think that i think they are the best early game thing like there's these it's really down to them ruffians junkies and i think there's one other i don't remember it might be fighters but i think fighters are a little later on not fighters brawlers uh choose that one turtle shield okay so yeah i did mention this series in the live stream yesterday and i will be talking about papa's pizzeria to go on this you can you can bet on that i won't be giving you any money if you do though so don't Oh uh, yeah, we've been poisoned. So yeah, it's it's the same as every poison effect in like literally every game that's ever existed. You take damage over time. Right, that's all it does. That's it's kind of annoying, and that's all it is. I want to get to the third area, but I don't know if I can. I mean, we still got like half an hour or uh not half an hour 15 minutes left of recording about that time loading ed should i make the joke again i feel like i shouldn't this is a gladiator Psst, stranger do you notice the signpost outside by chance follow it yeah he just tells you to do stuff and yeah uh, he's not important so we're not going to use him at all, but we can also get... Okay, no, the brawlers are, like, the fourth drink. And then conjurers. So this is, like, early, and this is healers, thieves. I don't remember what they are. I think that's knights. That might be knights. Uh, and then drink zero is merchants. I know Drink Zero is like Knights or something. So one of those three is Knights, and I don't remember which one it was. We're gonna do that, and we're gonna buy the Armory. So if there's no sound again, oh, I already explained why there won't be. I like how the sound is different. That's kind of funny. Uh, I don't know how we'll do this time. We have a little bit better equipment, but we still don't have armor for the, the third guy. What I should also mention is that there is a sequel to this game out there called Soda Dungeon 2. And I haven't played a whole lot of it, but it looks like an improvement. I don't really know as I, I have it downloaded, but I haven't played a ton of it. I'll do it at some point, but... Not, not right now. I gotta play this game. It's very important. Oh, uh, but yeah, so... I do want to get to the third area, because the third area is very important. Because there's an... Oh, I guess we got a third set of armor. I don't really know how long this will go. This will... I might just keep all of this in. And it really just depends. So I guess we'll just be keeping the half hour of content for each episode. I think that's good. It gives a really... Okay, we're going to go this one. Really? Really? You just had to do that game, now didn't you? He 
the the game the game the game's having a lot of fun here and I mean I can't say I'm not but I mean maybe I'm not you don't know that actually maybe I'm just saying that and you don't you don't know if I'm not oh I guess the ruffian's dead okay we killed that thing uh let's go to this one. oh come on I really Oh, the ruffian had our th had a, the stone of sight. We should like stock up on stones of sight. I'm probably gonna have those equipped most of the time. We got a rock. It's not just a boulder. It's a rock. Look at my iron swords. There we go. We can buy iron shields. We can buy rocks. I won't do it for that one though. Uh, I don't care enough to. Uh, I guess I'll buy like two more of these. There. So now we have four people. Here we got this woman. That's not a woman. Actually, maybe it is. I really don't know. No. Uh, and then these two guys. This. Yay! We're overpowered. Okay, yeah, so this guy's over here, and we'll attack from behind and do more damage. Though currently, I guess that's not important. We're just one-shotting everything here. So, I, I think this will, like, once I show off this last part, and I'm not showing off the whole game, there is another thing that I'm not showing off here. Why'd you throw our rock? That was the most important part of our team. How many rocks does he have? I want to know how many rocks that guy has. Because we only had one, as far as I know. So we'll pick that one. Well, let's go here. 49 gold. That's nice, I guess. Um, but yeah, this is kind of just the game here. Here, uh, I hope we can get through to the third area this attempt, and after that I think I'm going to stop recording for tonight. 20 minutes went by, like, 3 minutes. Which, I mean, I guess that happens sometimes. But I don't know if we'll be able to make it to there. I want to. But I wouldn't really be opposed to playing a little longer here. This game is really good actually and I got addicted to it a little while back and when I got this phone here when I replaced my old Motorola Droid Turbo 2 after its battery died for like the third time I don't know what it is but I've killed like four laptop batteries in a la and one laptop and that's kind of impressive, I, I would say. It's not good, it's impressive though, so... Hey, not everything impressive has to be good. I... that's what I'm going with, at least. But I do like this game. I actually didn't know it was a mobile game or This was actually also released on PC. Which might be why it has high quality, but I really don't know why it has high quality. And it, yeah, I'm just gonna say it's because it's a good game. And that's that's what it is. It's it's good. It's it's fun. I like I like it. Oh uh, no, we can't. We're not. We better not lose right here. Oh come on. We better not. No. No. No, we were close. There was the boss, but I do want to show off one more thing. So I think I already made the joke. I'm just gonna wait for this ad to end. They do have ads though, and I think I don't remember there being this many. Uh, stools, tables. We'll buy a table. We'll buy a wizard, and we'll buy some stools. And that. Two. 
All right. We actually got three of these guys. Uh-oh. We don't have enough gold. Liquidate. Bro, that's like perfect. There we go. We got those three people and then that guy. All of them at 40 HP and then that guy 25 HP. <laughs> they all have the same equipment. That guy's just worse. It's just kind of funny. Oh, we could have used the wizard, but I never actually talked to him. I should have done that because the wizard's kind of good. What he does basically allows you to teleport to any floor. I think I already explained this. I don't know if I did. Stop, stop. Stop recording software. I, I'm always checking the time on the recording. That's the thing I do. I'm not. It's not. This isn't meant to be professional or anything. It's just meant to be a thing I do. Oh, also, last time the game was in portrait mode. This game is in landscape, which might make it a little better. I don't know if that really affects anything in any way, other than just the way it looks for me. But it definitely is better for me. So. Oh, come on. He was left with one HP. That was one more HP he had than the other guy, though. <laughs> Guess you could say that much. I was hoping, like, the doors opening in the background aren't, like, getting into the recording. Like, I am using a mic. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I'm technically using a mic. It's, like, a headphone mic. Oh, and I don't even know if it really works. I did record it in, like, an isolated space last time. I was, like, I had the door closed and stuff. I was actually in a different place than where I am right now. So the door is also closed here, but I really don't know what's going to happen. So, yeah, I guess we'll just wait. We're almost cl we're almost there. But just note that this is... It's not something insanely huge or something, and it's just something I want to show off. That's in this game. Uh... There we go. Are you infecting the same person? It's like it's it's like it's not gonna do anything else other than do the three damage, which isn't even that much. I think you okay. This thing might kill us here. I don't know actually. We did a lot of damage to it. Ooh, that's bad. That does a lot. Don't heal. You could have taken it out. Well, they did it anyway. Anyway, okay. Here it is. The last thing I wanted to show. On this game, okay, we got 90, but this is a different area, so that's like it. Yeah, that's all that there was to it. I just, just wanted to show that it's not just the catacombs. There's different areas, and this is the fire caverns. And actually, how long can we last here? Because I feel like we won't last too long. Okay, well, with the healing stone, maybe. I don't know. Ooh, maybe. Oh. Ah, our healing stone's gone. Uh, yeah, I think we're screwed. It's not necessarily a bad thing. I can end the recording. Before someone just knocks on my door. While I'm recording. Which probably will happen. Okay, we got some stuff here, though. Uh, more battle axe. A lot of our... Let's just go liquidate that. I'll probably revisit this at some point, but let's talk to the wizard. Okay, but that's like the warp thing. There's some people here. We could keep going. We could buy grappling grape. Some stools, tables, casks, beds, what beds. It's uh But yeah, that's Soda Dungeon. All in all, I really like this game. But we'll get to the conclusion in a minute here. Once I edit it in. So yeah, I like this game. If you didn't know. Overall, Soda Dungeon is 
really good. I personally enjoy playing it, at least. It does have ads, and there are microtransactions in it, though. But I feel like with a lot of games that I'm going to be covering here, they do have microtransactions. But the microtransactions don't, like, impede your gameplay. Or in a certain game, which I'm not actually going to be talking about in the worst series. Well, maybe I will. I really don't know. Half the game isn't locked unless you buy a microtransaction. That's not how games like Soda Dungeon function. You can buy the microtransactions to make your life easier, but they're not required and the rewards aren't that hard to get on their own. I feel like that's the best type of microtransaction, and a lot of games that I will be covering do that. They they do that. They do that pretty well. And it has ads. They sometimes play. I think it, they, bump, they bumped it up <laughs> the last time I played. I don't really know. But I really like Soda Dungeon. And now, next episode, I'm going to be taking a look at a game that you cannot play anymore unless you have previously downloaded it. Or know some other way of getting it, but it was 99 cents, so that's kind of not legal. Yeah, you'll see what that is in a minute, but I already... Or not what it is in a minute, but in like a week. Um, also, these videos will be uploaded every Friday. Please remember to subscribe and like the video if you actually care about that. I don't really, so do with that what you will. Now leave a comment about some mobile games you want me to play. I really, I really li I would like your feedback on this video. Yo, and that's really all I got for you today. Bye.